shooting a film like a proper film documentary production with camera crew and everything and I am the subject of said documentary um, so yeah you'll meet the crew and the production team and stuff a little bit later it's a lot but it's fun there is also another ball that's happening and we have to go thrifting for an outfit for Kimmy because she doesn't have an outfit so we're gonna try and find something for her to wear and then I've got an outfit that I want to sew that I've already got a material for that material is gorgeous um, so yeah I've got to sew a little a little top for my outfit I'll also film the ball as well and we're filming the ball as part of the documentary um, gonna be really really cool so it's kind of weird because I'm gonna have a camera vlogging and then a camera watching me vlog and then another camera doing behind the scenes of the documentary that's filming me filming a vlog it's a lot it's inception I don't, I don't know oh, that shower was that shower was lovely um, I I don't usually like wear makeup every day, but because I'm, you know, on production now, like I have to do my makeup every single day. Like it's not anything hectic, but it is something that I just have to do because, you know, I can't have my like bare naked skin like on camera. Like it's just not gonna look nice. So I'm doing like a very like natural makeup every day. is Y2K Cyber and so we're sort of looking for inspiration from the 2000s it's giving like digital it's giving computer era it's giving uh, 2000s fashion so I'm trying to thrift it and see if we can find some stuff um, we did get a nice little skirt a happy little skirt yeah, yeah. Good. So we're now just trying to find like a little top or something. I don't know if we can make it because I don't think we have the time. But maybe we can find it like in an odd button somewhere. Hi. Um, I like some leather. Mm. I'm trying to find like some sun. So I'm thinking like a very simple under black and then maybe just throw over like a leather. Yeah. And then do like really cool glasses. Okay, that was really cute bumping into Koleka in the same store that we're thrifting for. And Koleka's also coming to the ball, also trying to find an outfit. So, lols. Okay, it's time to get some breakfast because we haven't eaten and Zoe needs coffee. Like now. I'm 
the channel see how it's going to tie in with the top part of my outfit. Well, well, well. Hey, hey. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, yeah? This, this is my spot. This is my spot. Okay, this is not my spot now. Answer me. Hello, friends. This is so funny. Um, I was going to send you a message today. How are you feeling? How are you? I would ideally want a... A blue. I agree. A blue. That's really funny, like bumping into Kathleen and Kiro. Like, seeing three friends all shopping for the same event and reason planet. And... Weird. Weird, weird, weird. So I can see like where you had it with it. I had it slightly but lower actually. But you, you wanted it the pocket off. You wanted it like so literally, literally just, just under just the below pocket. the pocket. Okay, <laughs> we are just gonna cut and hope for the best. Yeah, we're probably gonna go shorter, but because there's no seam now. Okay. Okay, the the back is the back is a little bit shorter. Than it should be. So Kim's whole ass might be sticking out of the thing, but. Oh, the back is short. Let's see. <laughs> it's fine, though. I think it's cute. Yeah. Fine. I think you want it shorter. Maybe. I think you want it. Also, it depends where I'm wearing it. So I'm wearing you have to wear it low. Like, that's the. Like there. With that. Yeah, you need the underwear out. Just like we're not, we can't afford going to like them fancy. <laughs> we're just Stand going on. a little, you know what I mean? Yes. Swirling all that stuff. <laughs> what size? Ay, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay, that's a lot better. Yes. I think that's cute. I could go shorter, but, I can't but then the, pockets. the pockets are going to be... Perfect. I don't want to find that belt. Okay, we'll go to the thrift store again and see if you can find it. But I think this, the length is good and I think it's mm -hmm. cute. Yeah, I know that material is gorgeous. So if it's like a, let's say a little hanging drapey situation. Yeah. Open back. You want it to open back. I have so much sewing work that I have to do now because I've got to sew my top and Kim's top but there's also like an event that we have to attend tonight that's in between the ball and now and like I, I don't know where I'm going to get the time. We're going to do it, we'll make it happen. an interesting space right so it's like this melting pot of like queers from like all the like cliques like around Cape Town and the, like the drag queens are there uh, the cool kids who are hanging out at that club are here the older peeps who are at this particular cafe so all of this these like little cliques in Cape Town like come together at the ball and it's just like this amazing like space of community. I think I really started like investing in like showing up for the balls maybe about a couple of months ago. And one of the things that I really wanted to do was be intentional about like what I was wearing. I used to feel like that the performance aspect of the balls was like a little bit like not up my alley. It was the thing that I, I guess I, real, I started realizing that there's a that while the balls, I guess, are performative to a certain degree, that it is theatre, that it is the sort of like coming together of communities in a space where we can kiki and jaw and have like a nice time. And there is that performative element to it. 
through that performance there is a like there's a degree of like authenticity and then there's a degree of like realness there's a degree of being in a space that will allow you to be yourself in whatever way you imagine it and that's a very a very rare thing so it feels like because the space is available for that like I want to honor that space by showing up for the balls and walking for the second day I actually forgot that I was walking I made all of the chaos of this production and the fact that the filming is happening and the fact that I'm making this outfit I forgot that I actually I'm walking <laughs> I did find this really really lovely material uh, at studio 47 in uh, Woodstock and it's this like stretchy like metallic purple-ish material that sort of like bends a little bit with the light when it like creates yeah, shadows it's so beautiful so I'm gonna try and make like a little crop top for this and not wear any bra underneath and I think it's gonna look hella cute with my outfit Okay, I've done as much as I can now, but there's an event that I have to go to and like I can't sew anymore. So we are just gonna go and I'll finish that stuff when I come back. since like varsity like I used to come and drink on this balcony and yeah. the view here is amazing though because you can see all of like the top of Long Street and the top of the mountain there it's not gorgeous how's the shooting going I, I shot my mom the other day hmm. uh, talking through like my baby photos <laughs> and stuff Looking at baby photos, talking about you as Yeah, a so she was like telling me like, this is you and this is happening, this is uncle so-and-so, this is with there, this was me at the house. And it was just so weird that like, I, I've never like filmed my mom that doesn't like being on camera, mm. but it was weird like filming her like that, talking about mm. those baby photos in the house that I grew up Hectic. was a lot. And then I didn't register at the time, sure. but when I got home and we had a little meeting afterwards and then everybody left and I was like, yo, that was a lot. So I'm now finding that the docky feels a lot more personal than I thought it would, which is cool. Um, it's very cool because you're already so personal on your YouTube channel. Yeah. So for you to say this is more personal. I, I yeah. feel like at some point during the filming, I'm gonna have like a mini breakdown. That's like probably gonna happen. <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm just like, I yeah, no, it's, 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 yeah. it's gross. I love it. Yeah. So it's probably gonna happen. So I'm yeah. Just like, yeah. This cool. is very exciting. Nice, friend. I'm proud of you. Thank you.
Yeah, I went early. I was there from like six to eight ish. Is Kim walking? Do we know yet? She said she's not walking. Okay. So that's the structure. So we'll probably be shooting till about half twelve, one o'clock, maybe at the top end. Uh, and then we'll call it and then yeah, it's done. We will be shooting us getting into Ubers here, traveling to Harden there. It's gonna be so cool to see your POV. <laughs> Because it'll be the first time. So. I'll be gonna run about 10 15 minutes late just so that you know. That's fine. But that's also good because I haven't had a reply yet. Oh, that's perfect. At first, I was like, mm, I don't know, I don't know, and then when Kelvin was like, oh, I'm gonna have a whole, it's gonna be the very first one. Like, I always just wanted a space where I could be exceptionally queer, and I could walk in there, and everyone else also doesn't have to feel like they need to be anything but who they want to be. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How do you feel walking? Uh, I'm not feeling it yet. Yeah, I've just like, been like, 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 so like, 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 like,
my friends are incredible. They showed up for me for the filming of this thing and Kedoshin just walked the most incredible best dress category ever that I've been to any single ball like it. Money. Kedoshin. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 